Hello everybody, hope you're doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering Bitcoin here and what is going on right now with these wicks and I'm going to explain it all and go through my trades that I've taken so I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to be trying to keep it around the 10 minute mark because I am in a lot of trades right now as I'm making it so I'm uh, going to try and keep it short so hopefully it'll be uh, run okay. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's go. So I'm going to catch up from where we left off on the last video, where I was looking at this as an ABC coming down, where I said that we will likely come down, form this bull flag, and then break back down, okay? And obviously, this was on the video that I made the 25th, so three days ago, okay? Where I was saying, obviously, at the time, real time, that we'll come down, likely form this bull flag, and then come back down again, okay? And obviously, that was the prediction, and this is what happened, uh, you know, very good, you have to admit. Um, so obviously I want to go through here what made us bounce off of this level so obviously we were looking at this as an ABC which I've now changed to a one two three four five essentially it's got, it was exactly the same but one two three four five to give me this ABC um, which I'm going to be covering as well uh, very shortly um, but here let's go through why we why did we bounce here let's go through and explain we obviously are taking the Fibonacci from this swing low to this swing high and would you look at that would you look at this we have a 618 golden pocket okay the 618 to 0.5 combining with this area of old resistance that is going to potentially flip into support and what did it do it flipped into support on that golden pocket okay this is just like a really nice area of support okay that you could have had lower down targets yeah you this is a valid target that you could have had at the lowest support but obviously you want to be you know as a sculptor like i was anyway you want to be aware of what's happening at this time where are they where are these supports you would have had to have highlighted this okay um, and obviously I'm going to then talk you through what's happened here. So obviously we had the A, B coming up in this bull flag, then breaking down for the C. Let's just remove that off the chart a second. Okay. And now I'm going to go through the, this sculpt that I obviously made uh, 20 hours ago. And what I got very, I, I was lucky that I was actually at my computer sculpting while this happened. So I was sculpting altcoins yesterday while Bitcoin was in that parallel channel. Okay, and that was my opportunity to just go through and do lots of, uh, let me put that on mute, go through and just sculpting lots of altcoins. I really enjoyed it. Um, but yeah, basically, I love sculpting altcoins while Bitcoin moves sideways. Obviously, like taking the Bitcoin sculptures at the same time, but I can manage a lot. But um, yeah, I was I was obviously at my computer when this happened. I'm not going to zoom into the one minute time frame because it's going to be so hard to find on TradingView. You have to zoom back a lot. But what we're just going to do is show you from this picture what it looked like. Actually, I think I might be able to find it quite easily. Let's see. Uh, because it's going to just be around here. Yeah, okay, it's cool. So I can just show you. Oh, God, actually. Um, yeah, here we go. So this was my reasoning for entering the long position, okay? As you see, that my reasoning from here was we come down, we form this tweezer bottom, okay? Tweezer bottom in itself is a bullish candlestick pair. This is a bullish candlestick pair here. But you also see you form a tweezer bottom on support. So the main thing is the horizontal support that we also obviously had the 618 Fibonacci level. So here we had the 618 Fibonacci level. We had horizontal support. We formed a tweezer bottom. And then if you look at the histogram, the histogram also starts upticking here. So as I wrote, this was my reasoning for entering this. The tweezer bottom, strong support level. I didn't actually write about the 618 here, but a 618 as well. And also the histogram uptick. Okay. And that was my uh, reason for entering the long. I don't generally post long positions, but a lot of people would have found the probably that I was making it up. I don't know. So I just decided to post the long position that obviously entered in there as well. And then this was my prediction that we would move up in the EVA, coming up for an A, then coming back down for the B, and then coming back up for the C. And this has not been adjusted at all. Okay, this is like, obviously, I couldn't adjust this. This was posted uh, 19 hours ago. And this prediction hit so nicely again. So obviously, this was my buy, but this was my buy. And I was predicting to come up for the A, back down for the B, then up for the C again. And what, is, what happened here? Let's zoom out to the three minutes. It's going to be a little bit more easy to see literally not moving the levels at all i had not moved these levels we come up for the a and hit it perfectly we come back down for the b hit it perfectly and then we came up again for the c and we got very close on the c it missed by about 15 dollars. but we come up for the c c wave up here we got very 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 close um and it you know it's there's the potential that it's not over here but you know that is you have to admit that is a really 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 nice call that we come up for the a back down for the b up for the c you know just clockwork and a lot of people are obviously complaining you know manipulation etc 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 i don't ever get involved in any sort of those calls you know it's for me this has worked out exactly as you would expect technical analysis to work out yeah you come up for the bull flag you break down from the bull flag you hit horizontal support in a 618 you come back up then you come back down for the b then you came back up for the c this is just t total you know, really, really nice technical analysis. Uh, there's no sort of manipulation or anything. You know, people like to cry manipulation, and etc. But, you know, there's this is just textbook technical analysis, okay? Obviously, well, 
I would say it is because obviously, you know, the predictions are coming right. These are predictions from technical analysis, okay? Uh, obviously, this one that we had obviously, the reason I'm buying here from technical analysis theory of hot, old resistance flipping to support 618 coming up to test A, which is obviously the top of this consolidation area, coming back down and then coming back up for an ABC. That's, just, you know, exactly what we got. And now going back into this range, I'm really, really simply now just going back into the parallel channel and sculpting the parallel channel again. Okay, so taking out this parallel channel, which for me is actually taken like this from around here up to the candle closes around here and you just see how this actually re really nicely acts as support until we get a candle close about around this it's really best for scalpers in my opinion but obviously you see here clear resistance to the midpoint clear resistance clear support clear support breaking down support support so you know this parallel channel which i literally identified for you what like four days ago when we first got into here once we had formed this so what three days ago after we'd formed the tops but here we, there was you know there's a parallel channel which is always adapting so we just can still in this parallel channel. And for me, until we actually close with a candle outside of the parallel channel, be it up or down, it really is a scalper's range. You know, for a swing trader, you would still have it be having, in my opinion, Again, this video is not financial advice, uh, <laughs> just to make that clear. But as a, as a swing trader, you would still be looking for moves up here to enter shorts, in my opinion, or moves down to here to be looking for long positions. OK, just short term. This is obviously short term on the next break that comes. But this range that we're in right now is, is definitely for scalpers. And unless you're a confident scalper, um, yeah, it's probably not the range for you where either you're going to be wanting for looking for shorts up top or longs down bottom. OK, uh, or I guess you could play momentum if you didn't want to look for shorts here and you didn't want to look for longs here. You could wait for a break above here and try and retest it to then come back up. OK, and then this would be your buy, for example. Um, you know, there's different ways to play it. The same as if you didn't want to buy at the bottom, you could wait for something like this and be a short here. OK, or potentially a short hit, you know, on the breakdown. Um, so, you know, there's different ways to play it and there's not a right or a wrong method. And I'm not here to have to tell you how to play it, but just give you ideas and so show you what's happening and how I've been trading it. You know, I've traded it extremely, extremely successfully over the last few days. Um, and that's not bragging, just literally played it so well. Um, for me, it was all textbook what happened here. You know, coming up in a bull flag, breaking down, getting the ABC, coming back up. Now we're just back in the parallel channel. So unless you were a scalper, then it would have been very hard to, to make those swing trades, okay? And now it's going simply back into the scalping range, just scalping this parallel channel until we get a candle close above it, okay? Where then you can be looking for swing positions. But in this range right now, it's not the best place to be entering swing positions, in my opinion, okay? Just purely my opinion. This this isn't the range where you'd look for a swing position. You're going to wait for a breakdown or a break up before you enter. OK, in, truly, in my opinion, that's what I'd be looking for. OK, uh, and shout out to the Discord fan because you will know it's been it's been nice in here. It's been so nice. Um, you know, I, I really love everybody in the Discord, by the way. Everybody's so nice. Um, and we've actually got a lot of really good traders in here as well. So it's it's really nice place to be. You can come along, chat and you just have fun with us all. Um, I will give updates on here. Obviously, on Twitter, I'll, I'll continue to give updates. Um, I was going to cover Icon. I was going to go through this, but I'm going to save this for the next video because I want to get back to my trades. Um, I've got a lot to be managed. I'm st I was I, obviously I paused saying I'm going to pause uh, to, after I finished like my Litecoin sculpts, but I'm still in them. Um, but I just wanted to do this really quickly, like 10 minutes. So I'm going to go back to this uh, still sculpting old Litecoin at the moment. Um, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, I hope you've all enjoyed the video. Uh, keep, I will say I will go through Icon in the next video, and I'll also try and cover. Yeah, I'll do Ontology as well because Ontology's been good trading recently. So I'll do Ontology and Icon in the next videos uh, for you all. Um, yeah. But yeah, this was just a quicker video today. I just wanted to bring something out and show you what's going on that we're just now back, obviously, in the Sculpers range. Wait for a break up here or we'll break back down below to look for swing trades. And I will give you updates on Twitter, etc., uh, Discord, Twitter, you know, the usual when I enter a position. But for now, I'm going back to Sculpting this range. I uh, hope that you appreciate this quick video. Um, and yeah, thank you, everybody, for joining me. It's been a real joy over the last few days. And, you know, I uh, hope it continues. Biba, Biba Bitcoin. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Cheers. Catch you later. Thank you.